Five Prop Shop, where we take household items and turn them into cool movie props. Let's get started. I'm a huge fan of Star Trek The Original Series, so I had to build a phaser today. I'm thinking to build the frame out of wood and cut it with a jigsaw, and then add the embellishments with things you can get from the hardware store or discount store. This guy's rocking a red shirt, so he's definitely not making it out today, but hopefully we'll have some better luck. The phaser has some really unusual shapes, so basically I just went to the dollar store and tried to match the reference photo as best as possible. All of these things are super random, but I think they'll work for the added embellishments. And then I ran over to the hardware store and I tried to match the barrel, the tip of the gun, uh, whatever you want to call it, with some PVC pipe and some other accessories that range from 20 to 60 cents. And then for some more embellishments, I grabbed some great and some plexi, which is all under $4 a piece. And then we're gonna hit it with some spray paint, which is about four bucks can. So yeah, let's go cut some wood. First thing we wanna do is make a stencil for our wood cutout. I made mine in Photoshop, but you can totally freehand yours. Just make sure that it fits your hand. Then I covered it with some blue tape and cut it out with an X-Acto to make it nice and sturdy. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is tape it down with some blue tape and trace it out with a marker. So the main part of this gun has about three different levels or thicknesses to it. I got this fancy new attachment to my rotary tool, so I'm gonna cut it out with that, but you can take different parts and piece it together to create that depth. I wanna try to keep it all in one piece and keep it nice and sturdy, so let's give it a try. So we just shaved out the details into the base of the gun and phaser. Now we're just going to cut this out with the jigsaw. Now that we've got the piece all cut out, we want to start etching the details onto this side. Uh, I found it easiest to slip this right back into the large piece of wood. So this will keep this nice and in place while we do our etching. Jim, I'm a doctor, not a carpenter. All right, well, we cut out this round piece separately to put on top. Um, it's a smidgen too big, so since we have the rotary tool already out, we're gonna shave the excess off and then also start the inlay for our first bits of embellishments. One of the most useful things you can use while you're making your phaser is a vise or a clamp. It keeps it nice and steady as you're doing any sort of cutting or etching. not place our fire. <gasps> no! So we just finished putting all the wiring on the sides of the gun and drilling where all of our other embellishments will go, such as a little taxi wheel. I wanted to try something a little bit different for the trigger, so I took the end of a pen that still has a spring in it, so that when we put it into the drill hole right here, it's got a little bit of movement. So the next step is taping off the different sections and getting its first layer of paint on. While we're waiting for our first layer of paint to dry, we're gonna start working on the nozzle of the gun, which is just made from some plumbing fixtures that we're gonna cut as needed and then glue into place. Now that we've got our PVC all glued together and ready to go, we're gonna take it out to paint. But first, we gotta think about what we're gonna use for that clear tip at the very end. I would probably just use a dead bulb from a Christmas strand, but unfortunately I didn't have any. So I went to the dollar store and got myself some of these fake candles and I'm using the bulb from there instead. All 
All right, so everything is in from being painted, so now we're gonna start the assembly process. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna start with is the top piece, which I guess is technically your phaser part. We need to add the wheel and the gear and this little piece of grate that we took from the black grate from earlier, cut it down and spray painted it silver. It's the small things, okay? <laughs> so one of the pieces that I was a little worried about was this little clear piece that's gonna go on the front. I was gonna originally use a piece of plexi, but I'm thinking it might be a little bit too thick. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of plastic from some packaging from the dollar store and just kind of cut it to the right size and then glue its topper right back on. All right, so the back has some fin detailing that we didn't really get to. So all I did was take some cardboard from some packaging, cut it into the shape, and these guys will just slip right over the back and we'll glue them in place. <laughs> all right, so we just finished our build for the original Star Trek phaser. Pretty much everything here was pieced together from the dollar store and the hardware store, but if you scrounge through your junk drawer, you can totally make this your own. The most expensive part of my build was the piece of wood, which cost me about $7. But between the discount store and the hardware store, I was able to piece the rest of this together for five bucks, making it a $12 build. Pretty awesome. Keep sending us your builds and more ideas for future episodes at DOI Prop Shop at break.com. And until next time, I'm Dylan Thomas. Live long and prosper. Mr. Spock, set phasers to stun. <laughs>